Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Today I'm working in the Dina Wakely Blue Edition media journal on a denim page. So I've just added a little bit of gesso onto the page, not too much because I didn't want to get rid of all of the denim background. And then today I'm using some Dilusions paint in the colours um, uh, Vibrant Turquoise and squeezed orange. Sorry about the delay, I was just trying to see what colours they were. Um, and I've just added a little bit to the page and then to this spare piece of card as well. I did have a plan when I started out that I was going to use this and I think in the end I didn't end up using it but it still created a nice piece of collage fodder that I can use another time. So then I'm using these stencils from Stencil Girl and this is from their monthly club um, these ones are called Floral Fascinations and they're by Jennifer Evans. Really pretty. So I'm just adding a few bits of stenciling onto the background. And then I was just cleaning my stencil off on this piece of paper and it created a really, really cool effect. Really like that. So that's gone in my collage fodder drawer as well. I don't often clean my stencils, but sometimes when they're brand new, they kind of feel like you ought to clean them, <laughs> keep them looking nice, but they don't stay like that for long. So this is also from that set, um, from the April um, set of Floral Fascinations by Jennifer Evans from Stencil Girl. So there were three that come in the set. So then I'm just using this stencil and just selecting some of the... Um, the botanical parts, the leaves, and just adding some of those onto the page. And then this is some of that um, craft packing tape, um, and it is adhesive on one side if you wet it, but I decided that I would stick it down with glue um, rather than wetting it, because with it being on denim, I didn't want it to kind of go too soggy, so I thought it would dry quicker if it was glued down. So then I'm just using some black and um, I'm just lining up the stencil with the ones that were there in blue and then finishing the other half in black. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, just kind of making them pop out a little bit. Really, I think when I started this page, I had an idea and then it went off in a totally different direction. So this is some sticker paper that I stenciled onto and I'm just adding a few pops of white onto the page. And then some white splatters using a fan brush. And then I've got my Signo Uniball in white and I'm just going to do a bit of uh, mark making on the page too. There's lots of dashes and dots. And then this is a stamp set by Dina Wakely called Ledger Girls. And I'm just doing this, um, stamping the little set of the three figures together. I really like this one. I think it's, um, it's quite a cute image. So I'm stamping three of them. Then I'm going to cut them out and stick them onto the page using gel medium. I like the fact that these kind of blended into the background a little bit and um, they weren't really super obvious. I did need a bit more gel medium than normal with it being on the denim, it seemed quite thirsty. So this stamp set is from Darkroom Door and it's called Alphabet Medley and I'm just stamping out some words onto these little strips of card that I'd got lying around on my desk just so that I can add some words onto my page. So 
So I often have different reasons for journaling. Sometimes I do just want to have a play. Sometimes I'm doing it because um, there's something that I need to journal about. And um, this was one of those nights where I was just having a play. There was no uh, set goal when I started off. I just had a, an idea of what I wanted to do. But like I said, it went in a different direction. Um, but that's OK, because I was just having a bit of a play. So my page didn't really end up how I thought it would. But doesn't matter. So there is the finished page. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. A bit of a mishmash of all sorts. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching.